3D printing lets you make all kinds of products. Customers love the variety, but juggling dozens of orders and tracking multiple print jobs across an entire print farm can be a nightmare. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use AutoFarm 3D to deal with this order for flexible creatures. All I have to do is select the files I want to print, choose the color and quantity for each, and send them to the queue. AutoFarm 3D automatically figures out which printers each job should go to. It starts the print as soon as that printer is available, it monitors the prints for failures during the print, and it can even eject the prints once they're done. All I need to do is wait for the prints to finish, collect my creatures, and ship them out. Let's take a closer look. So this is the main dashboard. The main dashboard shows as many printers as you have connected. Today, I have six set up. Three for R&D, which are my Prusa, CR10, and Sidewinder printers, and three for production, which are my Ender 3s. You can see that the R&D printers are all tagged with R&D, as well as the printer model, while the Ender 3s just say production. That's because I only use Ender 3s for production, so an Ender 3 tag would be redundant. These tags keep printers organized so that AutoFarm 3D can automatically allocate print jobs to the correct printers. I can add and change tags as I need them. Since my order calls for red, blue, and black, I'll load red, blue, and black filament on my production Ender 3s, then tag them with the color that they're loaded with. So now we're ready to start some prints. Let's go to the files page. In AutoFarm 3D, G-code files are stored in one central location. As soon as you upload or update a file, your whole farm is immediately up to date. This way, you no longer need to update a whole bunch of SD cards or worry about accidentally printing out of date G-code. So on the files page here, I've organized my G-code into different folders. I'll go into my flexible creatures folder, select the G-code files I want to print, and then click send to queue. On this screen, I can assign tags to my G-code. AutoFarm 3D uses these tags to match G-code with printers. A G-code file will only be sent to a printer if the printer tags match the G-code tags. Using tags is a simple but powerful way to organize your print farm and deal with complicated orders. Since I want these files to be sent only to my production machines, I'll tag all my prints with production. I want my lobsters to be red, my dragons to be blue, and my octopi to be black. You can also add tags for nozzle diameter, material type, or anything else really. But for this example, you don't need any more tags, so we can move on to setting quantities for each print. I need 11 lobsters, 5 dragons, and 9 octopi. So I'll just input those numbers here, and AutoFarm will repeat each print that many times. The release temperatures here enable 3D print auto ejection. If auto ejection is enabled, the printer will automatically remove the part once the bed cools down to the release temperature. This way you can print hundreds of parts without having to touch your printer. I'll cover auto ejection more in a future video, but for now we can keep the release temperature at the default 29 degrees. You can also record time-lapse videos for any of these prints using this tab at the bottom. Just for fun, I'll make a time-lapse of the Octopi. As soon as I send these jobs to the queue, AutoFarm 3D will match the print jobs to compatible printers. The red lobsters will go to the red Ender 3, the blue dragons will go to the blue Ender 3, and the black octopi will go to the black Ender 3. This way, I don't need to micromanage every single printer. I just put jobs into the queue, and AutoFarm automatically matches them for me. This new workflow makes it possible to organize print jobs across tens, hundreds, or even thousands of printers. Well, everything looks good, so I'll send these print jobs to the queue. I'll go back to my main dashboard, and you can see that my prints are being automatically matched with the correct printers. The printers are heating up, and my work is done. Since my enders have auto ejection, my printers will just keep printing until the order is complete. All I have to do is pick up the prints once they're done. Today I showed you how AutoFarm 3D can make quick work of a complicated 3D printing order using smart tags and automatic print job matching. There's a lot more you can do with AutoFarm 3D though. So check out our YouTube channel for videos about 3D print auto-ejection, time-lapses, spaghetti vision, and more.